Got him. Not a big one, though. Oh, he's... Oh. Little guy. <laughs> Can you believe that? That's what's biting? Some of them, I bet. Is that what's biting out here? Are you serious? Little drop there's that, but Talk there's about a, a lot little of drop ones, shot too. bass, son. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's a little guy. I guess we're going to start the show with that, aren't we, Scoot? Well, hey, you got to get started somehow. <laughs> the guide put me on him, folks. Look at that. <laughs> that's, a guide, that's a guide fish there. Hey, huh? That's a guide fish. <laughs> folks, today we're at Saguaro Lake with my good buddy, Scooter Griffith, and, and, and well, John, but we all call you Scoot. Yeah, yeah I've been Scooter, called Scooter my whole life. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. We call him Scooter all the time. Anyways, uh, he's now a apex angler with the Wild West Bass Trail which is something I'm probably going to want to try to do. Too. It's a fun time. And a great guide with the Arizona Fishing Guide. You want to book a guide trip, this is the guy to book it with. I'm on his little staff thing, so we, we have a lot of fun together. We've been doing this for years. And I told him, I said, Scooter, I want to go to Saguaro Lake. It's been a couple of years, actually since Josh Bertrand. Yeah. And I says, what's going on over there? Well, come on, I'll take you out. So I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, let's get a little better start than now, that. What are you throwing? You're throwing the same thing, yep. a drop shot? This is just a four inch light ox blood uh, by Arizona Custom Baits. Yep. Just a straight tail worm. And then you have the purple punisher, yes. curly tail. Yep, the so curly tail. Either I love one that. of them. I mean, like you said, there's just a lot of bait fish, so the curly tail is better. And then this is just one that's going to imitate that craw. I think I'm going to change maybe to a little bit darker green or something. This that's one what has, you said, green. This yeah. one's got a little green in it. Once you switch to that, well, you switch and got bit. So yes. it might be that. And I'm a big fan of either green or brown. So, okay. you know, I well, have to switch to green and see if that's the deal. Well, we might find out some secret spots <laughs> from Scooter because he's here all the time. Knows this lake like the back of his hand. So I promise you today, one of us is going to probably catch a nice fish. Yeah. So hopefully it'll happen. And I don't care how slow this lake gets. The one thing that I think a lot of people ask me about Saguaro Scooter, and you can probably answer it real quick, is is there a difference like when the water is being is running and when it's not, like when they're doing the pump out or pump in? Yes, from yeah, the I think it's a big difference. Okay. It really is. I mean, we need them to move. And you can see there's debris all over the lake yeah. today. So that means they moved a lot of water last night. So okay. whether it be a little bit at a time or a lot, but they moved a lot last night. It just got warmer, so, so need some more electricity. So if they move the water, it the bite better? Yeah, it's okay. typically better. So, right. And that's what we're waiting for. I mean, it's already done, but they're still just settling up. They might turn it on again here in a little bit, all right. but that's where, I mean, you, you count on that all the time. Certain spots are, are better when they're moving current. All right, well, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna grab me another worm. And me uh, one. These are so soft. I'll get you one and we'll <laughs> get down there and start catching some fish. Got him? All right, you got him, Scoot. Good one? Yeah. No, it's not that big, but it's a fish. Hey, all right, yeah! We got into an area, he caught one. <laughs> I'll tell you, oh, that's a good one, son. <laughs> Get him over here. That's a little better. That's a little bit better fish than what I just had. <laughs> the water's dirtier here than it normally is. It's it's weird. I know. This I haven't gonna seen the water this it, dirty. It's going to surprise you when it comes up right here, huh? Here it comes. Here it comes. Not a bad one. That's a good one, son. Oh, you. I don't want to touch that line. Get him over here. <laughs> nice, dude. That's a good one. Nice one, son. What'd you catch him on? That's Scooter Special right there, buddy. Oh, Arizona my God. He's got his own flavor of worm, man. Look at that. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Look at that. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, man. That's the kind we're looking for. We're getting bit like Pretty. crazy. What's that? I said we're getting bit. Look how thick that fish is, too. That's nice. a healthy fish. Healthy fish for here at... Uh, Saguaro Lake. You know, the thing is, is I'm just noticing as the sun's coming up, yeah. the water's dirtier than I've ever seen it. Yeah. What's going on? It is. I mean, it's those golden algae blooms and stuff like that once they started and, you know, it just changed the lake. So it's just a cycle, right? I mean, that's how I look at it. It's just a cycle. Yeah. So it's going to come back and do different things. And it's, it's never been dead. There's just still a lot of fish here. It's just harder to catch them. Yeah, you know, he but, knows his spots. He's like, oh, let's go try this. Let's go try that. We're getting bit, but there are a lot of little ones, like you say, the yeah. yellow bass or something, just thumping these baits. But to get a bass to actually take it like that, that was good. That we finally got yeah, one. Finally. Decent, decent fish <laughs> yeah. after all these bites. You keep going, oh, 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 there's a bite, you know. <laughs> but a drop shot, quarter drop ounce weight. Shot. Yeah. Well, actually, oh, I you went, shortened the leader on it too. And I went to an eighth ounce. Maybe, maybe that's the deal. I got it just a little bit lighter drop shot weight. Okay. Still a cylinder weight, but I just did a drop shot. Okay. Eighth ounce instead of quarter. All Usually right. fish a quarter. 
All right, got gotcha. you. Know. Yeah. You know, the thing is, folks, this time of year we're in that post spawn deal. And like I said, there's that couple of weeks that the fish kind of, they're funky. You know, it really is. And, and this is the technique that you seriously have to learn to fish all these lakes in Arizona, especially to get through some of the tough times. And it, the drop shot is, without a doubt, probably one of those things that probably most all professional bass fishermen have, yeah. in, their, have in their, you know, arsenal, for oh, sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've won a lot of money on it. I know you have. We've both fished it a lot. That and last tournament, I had three drop shot rods tied up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, sometimes that's the deal. And you get the clients on it. It's not that hard to fish. It's really not. And it, it's easy. You're throwing it on a spinning outfit, you know, and... You know, the clients seem to love it when they're catching big brutes on yeah. it. You catch a four or five pounder on something like this, you're really whacking them, uh, you know? Yeah. Everyone thinks that you're only gonna catch small ones. Exactly. You know I mean? It's just not the case. Now, I was just asking you, in all seriousness, are the fish still line weary in this? You know, you used to think, ah, oh, six pound test line, six pound test line, because you want it as thin as you can. You want the worm to work right. I moved up to eight pound test line, because I'm getting caught in the rocks and all this other stuff. But you don't think they're going to be so lime wary right now, huh? I don't think so. I think there's just enough color. You're using eight, even. right? I, I use as big a line as I can get away with, and at okay. least eight pound right now. Yeah. So that's, that's always my theory. That's good. Well, we are using a braid line, and that's the other thing. But we tie that leader on, and the leader that I've got tied on is that eight pound line, and we use right here. You can see where the leader's tied on to the, to the uh, four carbon. And I, we, I use an Alberto knot. You use it too. We were just talking yeah. about it. It's a small, real small diameter knot. You can uh, find that uh, on, on uh, the internet, obviously, to learn how to tie that knot. But it, you got to learn how to tie that knot. It's an awesome little knot, and uh, it's the way to go. And it's long. Yes. That's what makes it go through the eyelets better. Too. Exactly. When you got small eyelets, it goes through. It's not a big, bulky knot. So it works out really good. Nice. Got that one. <laughs> son. Uh -oh. oh, there you go, son. Dude, it's a nice one. That is Look at a, this. Oh, that's a goodness. good one. Oh, my goodness. A little sweet okay, one. I'm coming. <laughs> Scooter, don't this you lose that fish. <laughs> well, I don't even have it. How don't you lose, lose that fish. <laughs> Dude. Uh, uh, uh. That's why he's, look at that rod bend. Look at that, oh, I love that. He's strong, dude. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. That's a good fish. It is a really that's nice That's a really fish. good fish. The guide got me on him, let me tell you. Oh, oh my goodness, come <laughs> on, son. Come on. You definitely gotta fight him for a second, Come huh? on, get him in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. Scooter. Dude, that is a scooter. Is, the hook's gone. What? You lassoed him. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh my goodness. Look how big, how big that is that fish, son? Dude, that's, that's, a, that's gotta that. be like seven pounds. Look, Look how fat it is. Look at that, folks. It looks like you and me. Oh, dude, we gotta get a picture Holy of this. Cow. Hold on. <laughs> Little Facebook pick, folks. Scooter, <laughs> son, you want to get on some fish, folks? You call Scooter, the Arizona Fishing Guides. Let's let that baby go. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Watch this. See you, baby. That is so awesome. You had any questions on how nice the fish are here at Saguaro Lake, <laughs> yeah. brother? Huh? I'm telling you, that Arizona Custom Baits worm, that Punisher yep. worm. Purple Punisher. Oh my goodness, man. Folks, I'll tell you what, we're not getting a, we're getting a lot of bites. Yeah. That felt like that bluegill bite I again. I told you, that's what happened I to me last time. I finally set one. the hook. I'm like, all those little tiny taps and it lets go. You're like, what is that? Finally, this time I just set the hook and that's what I got. <laughs> Never let the bite tell you what size the fish yes. is. You know what I mean? Sometimes you think it's a bluegill and boom, there you go. And the hook came right out. That's why you keep the pressure on them and let yeah. that rod bend. That hook keep... fell out. As soon as I grabbed that, the hook was oh, gone. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Who says you can't catch a big fish on drop shot? Let me tell you, we got to get back to it. I know. You brought us to a I'm good spot. I'm going to keep talking, but let's you know, go fishing. How long have you been fishing this lake now? Oh, uh, well, 25 years, but guiding full time for 14 years. So, yeah. you know what? 
You put a client on something like that and that's oh a fish goodness. of a lifetime for a lot of people. For a lot of yeah, oh, yeah, that is just incredible. That's that's gonna that's just awesome. I love those kind of fish. I love it on light tackle because it feels like a monster. Of course it is a monster. Yeah. But man, it's so much fun. You know, the one thing I will say about light tackle, catching a fish like that. It, it's, I mean, it'll... It's nerve-wracking. I'm wore out. <laughs> the only thing that I can think of that I like about it, too, is that that is such an adolescent fish. Like, it's not yeah. a really old fish. No. And look how short, short fat and strong. Oh. That's what's cool about the fish here. Oh, so, my goodness. I'm excited. Strong, clean fish. Let's catch another one like that. <laughs> Saguaro Lake has all kinds of fish like that. I'm listening to him talk about, yeah, we caught a 10-pounder here, we caught a 9-pounder <laughs> there. And I'm like, well, man, where's my fish? All of a sudden, bam, I catch it. <laughs> Here's what I'm talking about, son. That's oh my good goodness. Idea. Oh! You got one? Yep. Good one? I don't know. It feels a little tiny. What do you mean it feels a little tiny? <laughs> it feels smaller. Oh. oh, you got one of my fish. The first fish of the day. That's, <laughs> that's the one you got, son. <laughs> You need help with him? Uh, I don't know. He's, you might watch out. He's got sharp teeth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what is this? Is this what's biting us down there? Seriously. this We came back to that spot we started, yeah. and this is the size fish that I caught at the beginning of the morning. Not bad. What would you catch that one on? Arizona Custom Baits. <laughs> There's another drop shot worm. Which one did you catch that? What color this did you switch to? This one is like a, a watermelon candy. See, Scooter likes to change up worms. I'm still throwing the same color. I'm still throwing the same flavor, Every all that good stuff, because I'm getting bites on it. But I'm, you know, like I said, I caught, caught those two fish. He likes it. You're doing the straight tail worm. You're yeah. just kind of letting it sit there. You Look how this short the leader inch. is. Yeah. When they're eating crawdads, look how short that leader is. That's the deal. Yeah. That's the real deal. Whenever they eat crawdads or you see, like, they got pinchers in their mouth or... Uh, their teeth are real red. I, I shorten that leader. Shorten that leader. Yeah, you betcha. Good, good, it's a yeah. great tip, I think. And then usually a lot of times what's crazy is in clear water, I like to go with a longer leader, like if I'm fishing points way out deep or something to let that worm kind of drop and settle down. But yeah. man, I'm telling you, you, you got to play around a little bit with the uh, size of the leader from the weight to the worm. It, it could make a big difference of whether you're getting a lot of bites or just a few bites. Because if it's real long, you're not getting bit, you can shorten it up like he's saying, and maybe start getting more bites because they're down there on the bottom, just laying on the bottom doing nothing. So that's when that short leader really works out nice. And, it, and it's not just a drop shot. I mean, it's no, a drop yeah. shot that you shorten, lengthen, medium, whatever, you could change it up. You know? exactly. It's not like just because you're throwing drop shot doesn't mean you have an exact length. Hey folks, we got a great tip of the week for you. Actually, Scooter's got a great tip of the week. Now, let me get out your way. Scooter's got a great tip of the week this week. Tell them about it, Scooter. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of you know using braided line to fluorocarbon leader. Uh, one of the things that I key in on when I'm using braid to leader is I can change your line super fast. So if you're going down the bank and you think, oh, I need it to change it to six because it's need a little bit more finesse, or you want to change it to ten because you need a little more. You're flipping in the heavier cover, super easy. Cut it off, retie it, put another leader on, and you're all set, you're ready to rock and roll. I'm Johnny Johnson, we'll see you on the water. <laughs> Get out of here. That's the tip of the week, folks. <laughs> is that Arizona Custom Base? Is that the one that has the scent in it? It is, I went to the you put it in there? Yeah, nice. he puts, puts it in there. Yep. You gotta have a little bit of scent. Sometimes you, you gotta know, have a Just scent. a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little changing now. This is where we can doctor and have a little fun. All right. So I'm gonna put, I, I got this little uh, chartreuse stick here I'm gonna use. And uh, it's made by Spike It. Now a lot of guys would do the whole curl tail of the worm. I'm not gonna do that. I, I'm, I'm the guy that likes just a little tippet. So I'm just gonna put it on the tippet so when the tail wiggles a little bit, they see that chartreuse. And uh, I'm gonna give that a shot. Some guys will do the whole the whole thing, but I don't. I don't like to do that. Just that right there. It's amazing what just that right there will look like. It looks like the tip of a bluegill tail or something like that. Yeah. And it works really good. So I'm gonna throw that on there yeah, and like, see how well, it goes. Let me see how it looks. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Oh, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. There's one. Got him? Good I one. I got one. Oh, it's a tiny one again. Oh, you got us in Tinyville. He's got us in Tinyville, oh, folks. We're at the nursery. Wait a minute, was that on my worm? 
That, that was, was on that worm I just <laughs> did for him. But <laughs> <laughs> you stole my worm and caught a fish on it. Well, you almost caught a fish on yeah, it. That I, one don't count, Scoot. I took it for a little walk. <laughs> I didn't want to bring him all the way in here and he put that stress the on my line. He put and... us in the nursery. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I told you, they all hang out together. That's the third fish we've caught in this yeah. area that we normally catch big ones in. I've been here enough to know this is a big fish area. You know, and I get a lot of people that ask me all the time too, and I don't know if you get this, Scoot, but they, they constantly ask, you know, should I shake the worm? What should I do? I, a lot of times what I do is let the fish tell you what they want if they're active and you can throw out there, and a lot of times you can just shake the rod tip a little bit and let that worm dance around a little bit and they bite, then it's working. But a lot of times what I like to do is throw it out there, let it fall, let the weight fall to the bottom, drop your rod tip a little bit, and let the worm float down real nice and easy, like it's weightless, and then pick it back up, and then drag, always keep your weight on the bottom and just drag it on the bottom. Now, in saying that, when you see me shaking that rod tip a lot of times, it's usually when I'm pulling up and I'm having to shake it over top, shake the weight over top of the rock because you get stuck and then bring it back down. Oh, oh monster bass! What the heck? Monster! <laughs> Not a bad one, huh? <laughs> no way. He's a little guy, I he think. He was hung up on something for yeah, a second. Yeah, he was hung up down there. There's, there's actually one little tree up there. Is there? Yeah. And I got it. A bad fish. One little tree with a bass on it. <laughs> Get him in here, Scooter. <laughs> there you nice. go, son. Now we're bragging about our little ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little tip on that one? No, seriously. Same yeah, that was on the. I put that little chartreuse tip. But look how thick. Look at this. Look how black, but look how thick yeah. that little fish is. I mean, he's just <laughs> so thick. They're healthy. Look, they're growing like little footballs. That's it. I don't know if we have any more worms. No, we're done. Oh, yeah, that's no. what I mean. I don't think we have any more worms. Oh, you worms. ain't using no more of my worms. <laughs> <laughs> no, Folks, we've had a great day on some World Lake. Scooter, thank you for showing us around a little bit. It's a tough day, but we showed how well that drop shot will work. I mean, we have a high pressure. We have slick water. There's no wind, yeah. and the water's not running. So yeah. three things to get you, and you take the drop shot and catch the fish we caught. Not bad, and we're yeah. getting off the lake by 11 o'clock. Hey! We can't Easy beat enough. that. Yeah, can't that's pretty good. That. Go you want to nice make lunch. sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got to make sure you call the Arizona Fishing Guides. Scooter, will take care of you. He'll set you up. He'll either guide you out or set you up with a guide, and uh, have a lot of fun and learn a lot. And it'll probably put you way advanced farther than you would if you were trying to get out here and do this on your own. But definitely a lot of fun today, yeah. Scooter. I appreciate, and I appreciate you. you having me. No, we it's had a great fun. day. Had a great day, and we we wish you the best of luck with the Apex Cup, buddy. Yeah. Get out there and catch him up. In the meantime, I'm going to keep making shows, and then I'll try to qualify maybe for that thing. There you go. Maybe next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'll be fun. Hey, yeah. thank you so much for joining us on the water. We sure appreciate it. I'm Johnny Johnson. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks.